hello welcome back to my huge channel everybody today i'm welcoming you from a super dark video because i'm sitting right here the sun is going down at i don't know 2 p.m that's what it feels like so i don't have my lighting here and anything but you know what the most unnecessary thing about this video is this face because we're here to talk about the last tiny bits of the essence sale and I was super surprised that there was still anything left and that the sale was actually ongoing because I'm pretty sure last year Essence stopped their sale like extremely early. I think it was mid-January or something. So I was super... <laughs> oh, it's good. So I was super surprised that the sale was still active and I was even more surprised that there were pieces uh, that were still looking pretty good. So uh, what I did was make a super great selection for you because I think these are pieces that are definitely interesting. Put them on my wish list because so if you're interested, you can still find some pieces. Let's start right away. This is my wish list here. Um, do not forget to subscribe, of course, to this immensely great channel that is one of a kind, including myself. So do not forget to subscribe here, of course. Uh, or follow me on Instagram if you like what I share. You know, fashion is all good and stuff, but if your mom wants to have five kilograms of potatoes, you better make sure that your Turkish mom gets her potatoes. So yeah, this is why I'm a bit not that fresh, but who cares because these pieces are great. Um, so I think I will start like almost chronologically. And uh, this is a pair of Comme des Garçons um, uh, New Balance collaboration sneakers. And as you all know, I'm not a big sneakers fan, but I really try to find good sneaker, good sneaker options. And even though this is for men's and this whole collection is like so unisex, I think I never had a more unisex selection uh, of items in a video ever. And unfortunately here the sizes are pretty big but the shoe looks great. I'm not a New Balance fan anymore because I think we just have seen it too often and all these references of Diana and the 90s and 80s, I actually can't see it anymore and I don't think it's very original anymore, but I definitely appreciate the, the vintage style of the New Balance still. And I really like this black option because it's very minimalistic. I like that it's like a sweat leather and um, yeah, this is a collaboration of, oh, okay, Comme des Garçons Homme. It's all black and I think this is something we can very rarely find, like pieces, especially sneakers that are all black and still looking good because sneakers, like for 99% of the time, look best when they're white. It's always the white sneakers always look more fresh. I don't know, it's a bit more sporty. It looks more clean and when they're black, they just don't pop that much. I also have the feeling that's um, what, what happened, for example, with the Tabi Reebok sneakers. Um, but here I feel like it looks great. It's almost half price off. There are still several sizes left, so I think it's pretty nice and you should definitely check that one out. Another shoe that is great, I never heard of before, is the Isemiaka shoe, but it's in collaboration with United, uh, United Nude. And it reminds me... Am I, am, I'm talking pretty fast because I want this to be a short video. I tend to talk too much about videos, I heard. Um, so this actually, if you like the, the row shoes that definitely look like they're just slippers or like sock shoes, but like literally sock shoes because it's actually literally just a sock with a plastic sole underneath. I really like those. I still feel they're pretty pricey and I'm not sure about their quality. If anybody of you knows how their quality is, this the row slipper I can show you. Um, that would be great. So, But this one definitely reminded me of those and they're for 200 euros. I think it's a really good price. There are still a lot of sizes left. Uh, they have it as a slipper and, and it also says like Isimiaka on the back. I mean, it's not that I'm looking out for logos or anything, but um, yeah, there's just a little attribute about it. They also have it as a um, long boot, which I also, I have it somewhere here, I guess. Yeah, they also have it as a sock boot, which I also think is, is pretty interesting, but I don't know why I kind of like the slipper more. Um, I think it's more clean for cleaner looks. So I will just put the things I love the most to the front. So I'm going to talk about these Nina Ritchie hats. And all of you people that know me, okay, it's getting pretty dark, but I don't care. Um, all of you people that know me know that I have a strong addiction with a certain kind of accessories. And 
one of the most important accessories to my hats. And even though I don't wear them too often, I just think they're the most artistic accessory. Usually I'm not a huge fan of jewelry, except for like the two pairs of earrings that I own. Um, I just usually think that jewelry doesn't look very modern. It's all, it always has something very nostalgic about them, even if it's modern design. I don't know if, I mean, I make, can make another video about that, but usually I'm not a huge um, uh, jewelry fan. I like watches and I'm actually like a Dubai dude who just likes watches and big cars, you know? No, but this is like so cool. This is a very... Um, I love the reference to the original Nina Ritchie. This is a, the Nina Ritchie wool hat, which also the brand is very famous for. And if you know Nina Ritchie, it's like this very feminine French brand, but for since 2018, they designed a duo of Botta, the label, which is like the exact opposite of Nina Ritchie, the brand, which is also like very conceptualistic, conceptualistic and a bit avant-gardistic, I would say, so because it's definitely far away from functionality, but I think it's a very dreamy brand in a certain way. I think we can also compare it a bit to Tom Brown and Craig Green. Um, they are the designers and since 2018, um, they're designing for Nina Ritchie and they also come from the Antwerp School of Fashion. So I definitely see some butter things here. I love that they bring back the, the, the blue of Nina Ritchie, which they also use a lot at butter. So you can see like some uh, duality between the two brands also. I love the brand. I heard, I think that the designer dude was leaving Nina Ritchie. I think that's the worst thing ever that could happen because I think they modernized the label so much. So long story short, I mean, this is like 15% off. If you're a stylist or shooting or anything, or if you just like a bit exaggerated hats, um, this is definitely your go-to hat in my opinion. And for the summer, even though I cannot see bucket hats anymore, I really love this one. It still looks different. Yeah, I have this thing for the neck, for example. I'm really sad that they're leaving, but this is also like a really great option if you want to have something different on your head, which isn't a cap or like the usual bucket head. So going on with the next pieces. If you're a guy, comme des garçons en plus, which is the more crazy version of Omni des garçons en, um, has this extremely beautiful pleated shorts that I would like to have immediately. They have size M and XL uh, left, but I think you have to check it out because in US sizing it's pretty different. It's the most beautiful shorts you can have. It really looks literally like a long pants, but just cut in half. I think it's beautiful and um, yeah, as, as a guy or even as women, you just need to look if that's your size. It's beautiful, it's half price off, it's not cheap cheap, but it's a great price. Shall I turn on my light? I think I'm gonna turn on the light. Maybe it will be better, yeah. Is this lighting good enough? Well, this is super creepy. Okay, Morticia, Morticia. Why am I always like this? Like starting too late with filming videos, not having a good set, but that might change guys. I might be able to very soon get a normal setting. So I really love this uh, pant. If you're th still thinking of something, Think about this one. So then I have this Joseph pants here. I love them. I actually have a version from Cos which looks very similar. And I'm very happy that I got those because it was one third of the price. But Joseph is a label you never can go wrong. I just got corrected last time. So Joseph is apparently a British brand. I assumed it was kind of American. I don't know why. But this is a 100% wool pant. I love the fit. It's this egg form, you know, this oval form. They have 34 left. But as much as I know Joseph, yeah, they're pretty accurate when it comes to their sizing. But they have this one in another shade as well. I can see this definitely on men's and women's. So this is a perfect thing. I would just wear it with a, a bit cropped white um, tank top in the summer. You can wear it uh, with like beige, navy, in all colors actually, turtle legs in the winter. I like these pants a lot that are pretty versatile. Then we have these Jill Zander boots left. I was pretty surprised about the price actually because it's not, uh, it's fine. I mean, it's almost 50% off. I think it has this bulky chain on them, which is not very typical for Jill Zander because it's like jewelry. I mean, the jewelry themselves is pretty bulky and different and very artsy, but I haven't seen a lot of shoes with these kind of chains on them. I really like it. I think one thing, because I realized that and I checked it out, 
it has not got a zip on them but funny story i just got those without the chain in, uh, in beige for my sister and she has pretty wide feet and she is still fitted in and they have like a lot of sizes left so you should definitely have a look at these ones because i think they will look immensely good with midi dresses with midi skirts even short things you just have to look if it cuts your body maybe too much in half if you have a shorter thing i think you should wear something that ends where the heel is uh, also ending so this is a great option you should definitely check out studio nicholson one of the brands i got aware of when i was in london it's also a british label and dude i wasn't aware of that brand at all actually i think they're famous actually for their menswear this is an alpaca um, sweater and i can tell you one thing I, like, i'm a huge fabrics and stuff fan and usually like okay it needs to be wool or cashmere because i don't buy too often and if i buy it also needs to keep me warm but alpaca is like the non plus ultra baby alpaca which sounds pretty mean maybe it also is maybe somebody can enlighten me but alpaca in general is like the i think it keeps you the warmest when it comes to to animal hair like you know not like down like but um when it comes to to wool kind of things alpaca is the best i think the price is actually pretty fine because i just got one from rae which is matches uh, matches fashion own brand and i think i paid 200 and it's like 10 percent cashmere 90 percent wool and this is 68 percent alpaca so let's say 70 that's immense and it's only 300 euros it's a good price and i can tell you if i had learned one thing i know i'm a huge uniqlo fan i know i would still be their ambassador because they just give you the option to look good for for a way less price but uniqlo sweaters especially the wool sweaters i mean you can wear them like five times and then they just they don't look as rubbish as some other fast fashion labels but it still doesn't look as good and another one i really liked was this gray wool turtleneck it had the best fit it's 100 percent lamb's wool yeah but this one is a great turtleneck as i told you on men's as a woman uh great to wear it then this studio nicholson coat i'm a huge coat person and this is also 100 cotton which i love when it comes to um to outerwear because when you have outerwear which is wool it keeps you definitely extremely warm but you know this whole pilling thing and stuff it can start i have this Dries van noten coat that i love more than my life probably but it just doesn't look fresh anymore i need to look how i check it but this coat here for example and they have like i think the size is pretty oversized it's 30 percent off but i like i love how wide it is i love the fit it's it's it has some trench coat inspiration but it's not a trench coat because i really don't like trench coats um, I just don't like the fit. It's like so classy. It's never modern. You know, I don't like it when it's not modern But here, I mean look at this. It, it just look looks immensely great She's wearing such a minimalistic look and it just looks so good dressed um, I don't stand this turtleneck under your shirt style. It's like reminding me too much of the looks my dad wore in the 70s. I saw in pictures but um but this coat in general is great so if you're looking for a pricey coat like for an investment this could be it because i only heard so many good things about studio nicholson i don't own anything yet because i'm like ugh. i'm thinking about the alpaca uh, sweater because the cost per wear will definitely be worth it because you will wear it i guess every second day so we need to learn to invest in things that we wear often because we tend to invest more into things that are just outrageously extravagant but we wear them like three times in our whole year and that doesn't make a lot of sense i also think it's important to to invest in pieces that are one of a kind and very special but we also need to learn uh to care more about our daily pieces and i think that we we, we are on a good path here so another shirt that is beautiful and i also saw men's wearing these ones is this peter doe khaki flame collar shirt and not only does it look great from the front because if you scroll down guys look at this this is like the most beautiful thing i have ever seen uh, it looks very rich in quality it is all made in the us i mean if you follow peter do you know how great everything is that he does it is pricey so this is something where i say you know if you're if you're inheriting something or if you just you know like know how to plan your money and invest in things um go for it i would immediately go for it but i invested in some other pieces 
Uh, and I could call it investment because it is an investment. Because like Leandro Medin once said, if you don't have a car, your outerwear, your clothing is your car, you know? And except of that, we also want it to look good. So this is a shirt. Can please someone buy it just for themselves and like get, show me some pictures. I would just love that one. It's, I mean, get the skirt also. It's, it's the most beautiful look. Then back to Studio Nicholson again, this skirt, it's so funny because when I was in the US, I think it was 2014 or something the last time, I, for the first time ever in my life, saw Amish people. And I mean, of course, I knew what they were and what their belief is and everything, but I never saw them like in real life. Um, oh, I fell so in love with what they were wearing because it was so rich in quality, the minimalistic. It was also like the rising times of Phoebe Philo, 2014. It was the very strong times of Celine. And it felt very Celine-ish to me. And, and I felt like in New York, maybe because it was September, it was like... 40 degrees or something so people were running in jeans shorts and tank tops and flip-flops these people like dressed in wool dresses and stuff looked like so rich in in, 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 a, in an aesthetical way to me that I really kind of fell in love with them and it was funny because I was also wearing like midi dresses still like long arm they were all always checking me out because apparently they thought I'm one of them <laughs> like not guys I like electricity but uh, and human rights but other than that, um, this skirt kind of reminded me of that. So that's why I got told you this flashback story. Look at this. I'm scrolling very slowly. Look how great it is. It is. And I think the price is, is okay, again, because it looks like an investment piece that you can wear like through winter and summer. Probably more like a winter piece. But since I'm always cold, I can always wear it. We have a few sizes left. So definitely think of this one as well. Because I think Studio Nicholson pieces are also not very easily uh, to be found. So you can you can get this one. Then the So Much Love brand CFCL. I got so much good feedback. Because I mentioned like a few pieces in my last Essence video. And you guys were really going crazy about the knitwear pieces. And I also saw that you guys uh, also got yourself some things. Which is making me happy and making obviously you happy. So I saw this other bag, there's not much left at Essence from CFCL, but I like this one and it's called Black Fluted Toad, which is pretty sweet. So a good name also gets me to buy stuff. So this is maybe a good option if you're thinking to get this Isimiyaka bag or this MM6 handbag, which is pretty popular, I think. The price tag is extremely good and it looks different. It really looks a bit like a, not, not like a socket or something, but it has something like very fairy tale-ish to me. It could also be a piece of Simon Rocha, but it's still is more clean and minimalistic so this is a bag I think I would like to have but I have like so many little handbags that I don't use too often that I don't want to invest in these kind of things anymore but I think wow we can see it so well black on black it's, this is the reference so it's super small but I think it's very sweet so this is another option why I think you should keep an eye on that one then Jill's under earrings not extremely on sale it's actually like a joke minus 18% is not is not reduced to me but I love Josanna Jewelry, I have to say. As I said, it's pretty bulky and different. And look, that's important. You, I always have to see it, how it looks at the model because usually it's not, uh, it doesn't have very normal proportions. And here, I just love the proportions. And look how it looks. Look how the earrings look because you think you know how they look. And, and I mean, it looks so good on the model. And it does, it, for example, oopsie. It for, probably wouldn't look good on me because I have like pretty big ears, like two big ears for my head. But if you have like normal sized ears, um, this will look amazing. Yeah, I just love these earrings. I would get them immediately. It's an investment. Of course, it's fashion jewelry. It's still pricey for fashion jewelry, but it's a good piece. So, Shusha Tong necklace. I think I showed it the last time. I love that this is kind of looking like little pandas. If you have a look at it. And uh, we have here a pearl necklace and it's not a real one. So it's pretty pricey for them not being um, pearls. But if you like the Panconesi uh, necklaces, this will be something that you could also like. And it's 90 euros. So it's it's kind of manageable. So I'm trying to get here with my priorities. What have I not talked to you about? Oh, got a lot of pieces. So coats, Daniel W. Fletcher. I don't know why we don't see this label too often because of when I saw their lookbook the first time ever on Walk Runway, I was just literally falling in love. 
So this is a coat. I think the price is very well. I have no idea how the quality is, but it's 100% wool. There are still a few sizes left. I love the color here. So have a look at this coat. It's very interesting. I think very easily wearable for women's and men's. I think it's beautiful. So if you're still looking for a basic coat, look at this one. And I got you this 80s one. 80s is doing like fashion also. I also only knew it from um, that, it, that they were doing like shoes and stuff. So this is interesting. It's only 60% wool. It's not even on sale. I just got it in here because I felt like the price is still okay for some of you uh, and also for me. And I really like the fit. I saw one or two people, I think they got it oversized. The size S is still available. And I know that this one's very easily out of stock. So if you're looking like for a classic minimalistic coat that is interesting and you don't want to invest in a vintage coat because I also kind of cannot wear vintage anymore because it's I'm coming from a Turkish household and I just got like manipulated that people who have worn things I cannot wear anymore. I used to do that as a teenager very often, but now I kind of feel like I cannot do it anymore. Okay, totem pants. Oh, wow. Totem pants. Good price. 40% off. Very chic. Uh, it is kind of linen and viscoso. Viscoso, which is like the more high quality polyester. So it's a good thing. And not everything needs to be wool, by the way. Um, beautiful cut. There are a lot of sizes left. So I was pretty surprised. And white pants. They are so crisp. Every time I wear white pants somewhere, people are telling me, oh my god, I just forgot how beautiful white pants look. And I have a lot of white pants, I have to say. So this is a great option, as I told you here again. Men's and women's possible, in my opinion. So check that one out. These ambush boots, I'm not going to click, uh, click on them. If you're still, you know, looking like for the puddle boots from Bottega, but you don't want them because it's Bottega and you're cooler than that, then you should check out these ones. I still love them. I still didn't get them. I like that it's squared on the front. They're just so much more interesting than the ones from Bottega. They're more wearable than the ones from Balenciaga, which I also liked a lot. And the price is kind of, it's like so bulky. It just looks funny and I love it. And there are like two, a few th sizes left. So you should, can also check this one out. And this Casablanca hat. Casablanca is a label, which I think is sweet. Design wise, I don't see myself in it. It's like, too colorful too happy and actually i don't think it's like very revolutionary very revolutionary when it comes to design so i'm not really i don't feel like it's filling a gap or something so it's just like another on top run that has this very strong 70s tennis references i don't know if we needed that uh but i really like the cap because it has this rabbit on it it's funny it's like 96 euros for a cap i don't know if we need it, but it's sweet. So if you're thinking of getting a cap, you could maybe think of this one. So I showed you this. Is this? I'm going to talk about the back, the layers. Totem bikini. I got myself this one when it wasn't on sale because I needed it pretty immediately back then. Um, and I even made like I questionnaires on Instagram because I was like, okay, guys, tell me about a bikini brand that is minimalistic, but not like cost minimalistic. Because as much as I know, like uh, love minimalism. It's sometimes it doesn't have this wit about it. You know, I just don't want anything to be like linear and like too basic. I still want there is some Emilio Pucci witness in it. If you understand what I mean, like some some interesting design uh, feature. And I really like this totem one because it has a very interesting cup here and it's it's pretty one of a kind and it it's, looks a bit like shells, but it's of course not. It has this very, very fine line here on the side so it's very elegant and this year is, i think it's extremely beautiful and if you're still thinking of bikinis because we think we should think as early as possible about that one you should always have a good backup of a bikini um you can think of this one so well done also the other label in my latest video that you all went crazy for because you were like okay oh god i love this brand blah blah, blah. it's a korean label i also love it a lot and have a few pieces this blazer is insane I, I just love it so much it's super wide i love the falling shoulder I, I i just love it that it's like still pretty short for the cut because it looks like it should have been like a coat feature but it's so wide that i i just love it it has this detail here in the sides i don't know if that was necessary but so this is maybe i don't know a little design feature the body is 90 percent wool which is interesting so if you're thinking of getting a blazer that you can wear daily that is interesting you can think of this one well then it's usually pretty pricey that's 
The only issue I have with this bronze, so that's usually a bit too expensive, but here we definitely see like a piece that is kind of approachable. So if you want a piece that is interesting, you should think of this one. And Victoria Beckham as much. What the fuck? Is this a joke? What the hell? It says I need to hold it still. Ah, okay, they see that I'm screening the page, probably, because I'm filming this right now. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's that's creepy. Okay, so I talked about this one. This is another turtleneck. It's like a double turtleneck from Le 17 September. I don't know what the 17 in, in French, and I know that they pronounce numbers very different. Not only pronounced, but they count differently. So this is pretty funny. Because I know that this piece, uh, this brown has also pretty interesting um, um, pieces in their collection. What is this? Is, what is this? Oh, okay, it's interesting. It's pretty thin. That's the only thing I didn't like about it. But I really like the feature of it. You know, you have like this blanket on it already. So you don't need to have like a second one. It's color coordinated. I love it. It's 60% off. You can definitely think of this one as well if you're still looking for good daily pieces. And then, this is pretty much it. Oh, the, I was talking about Victoria Beckham. We, yeah, because as much as we all cannot really identify with Victoria, I guess, and her very chic and classy and femme fatale looks, it's not femme fatale actually, it's pretty conservative how she's dressing, I guess. Now, I, her glasses are insane. I'm, I'm sorry I, that I have to say that, but her glasses are the best. I love them. She always has these pilot glasses or these murderer glasses, as I would call them. And I don't know, they suit me well. I'm looking good as a potential murderer. So um, yeah, this is why I like the glasses. I have a pair, I love them. And I think these ones are also beautiful. They're also like usually pretty pricey because I mean, when I say pricey, it's like Bottega prices. So this one's 50% off if you're still thinking like about a good. I like glasses to be bold. It's like the hats, you know? My fashion usually, my daily fashion is pretty minimalistic. So what I like is to be extravagant. So like my take out my thickest Rolex watch. No, not on watches, unfortunately. But I take out like bold glasses or bold earrings is the only thing. But yeah, that's something where you can play with, you know, where you can make you look a bit more interesting. So another one is this A, okay, don't let me pronounce this name. I just know it's very hip. It's a Scandinavian brand. It's Aröge Höve, probably. And I just got you this one. If you're coming from a place that is warm, that means pretty far away from me. Um, you could like this dress because I think it's interesting. It's minimalistic. It is like 65% off. So if you are thinking of like potential looks i think you can wear this very well with maybe a bikini underneath like a totem one and then a blazer and it will look pretty interesting and this is a label with high potential and getting bigger so maybe invest in a piece now than in in a year because the prices will probably increase and you will not find maybe the pieces that you would like to have that's something you, sh you can definitely invest in uh, coming back to joseph and maybe like products that are where i'm not sure if it's underwear or normal fashion Look how beautiful this is. I mean, it's 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 so beautiful. It, it looks pretty comfy. So you can check out this one. Uh, it's a bra actually, but it's a gray cashmere stretch bralette. Also, if you're looking to get a present for someone, I don't know. I think it's usually pretty awkward to gift people underwear. I know it's like what you do at Valentine's Day, like according to a lot of um, Google ads that we see. But I think it's always awkward because. I never feel like if someone is gifting you underwear that they do it for you. It seems like they're doing it for themselves. So I don't like it. I want something more personal. And usually I'm capable of buying myself underwear. So if you want to buy this for yourself, get this bralette. I love it. And it's 65% off. Did I say that I love it? Yeah. So, and CFCL, the brand you love the most. This is actually like the hat version. Uh, off the back I just showed you and the price is extremely good. I'm a very strong beanie person but I only wear the, the cashmere one from Uniqlo and I love this one as well because it has a different look. 
I always have this problem with getting a strange head shape. I mean, I guess you know that problem. But this one looks like a flute. It that really looks like one. I think they just took the same product and made like handles here. <laughs> no, they didn't. But I really love this one. It's it's a very basic piece. It's 50% off. Um, okay, it's a recycled polyester, which doesn't mean anything. But you know what? Not everything needs to be wool. The design and it's so hard to get knitwear in this kind of form. So it's also pretty expensive in the production. So we also have to be of, uh, aware of that. I really love it. If you're still looking for beanies, check out this one. And there's another label that I think is interesting. It's called Arc V, which is a pretty strange name. If you're still looking like for a bit bulky, minimalistic, but strong in shape jacket, I kind of like this one. We have still a few sizes left. It's not immensely on sale, but I kind of like it. It's also a Korean label. Um, if you're looking like, if you want to get rid of the typical blazer look, I mean, I'm wearing blazers now for 10 years. I kind of get oversaturated, but I think I will still wear blazers. This was an interesting one. And again, the Victoria Beckham glasses. I really like these ones with the black frame. I think especially if you're a blonde person or have a lighter hair color, this will definitely suit you even better. Even though I have to say, like, blonde people, everything looks good on you. I hate you. Uh, but, oh my god, I forgot two things. I think I also showed this well done blazer. It's a bit more pricey. I think that's why I didn't like it. But I still like the fit a lot. It kind of reminds me a bit of the hourglass shape of the Balenciaga blazer, which I think is great. And I like these cuffs here a bit because that's make, what makes it a bit nostalgic, kind of, or tailored. So I think the quality is crazy, actually. So if you have the money... Go for this blazer. We have a few sizes left. Send it to me if you have too much money. And last but not least, these low classic pants. You know what? These are too expensive. I'm not even going to recommend you these ones. What's going on? Like three, I mean, 13% off, I don't like. I don't like to hear this. So these are actually the only products. I think these were the pieces that I showed you the last time. So this has been it. Shushu Tong skirt, I'm not showing you. Um, have I missed something? No. Okay, that's actually... Oh, okay, it's the Ernest W. Baker. Similar to, to W. Fletcher, but I was surprised nobody knew it. This is um, a bag that is really interesting. I think if you're... Especially for men's, this is interesting because I think it's usually pretty hard to find interesting bags for, for men. I love this one. Unfortunately, the black one with the red ribbon on it is sold out. If you find it somewhere else, get it. But I really like just the idea of this present handbag. Um, I think it's fun, so you should do it for that one. I will, just for the sake of showing you, I will try to find the look with the... No, they don't have it anymore. Sad. Okay, they don't have it here anymore. Um, but it's, I think this is a British label as well, or... American Attitude, European Charm. Okay, it's a portico based brand. Okay, I'm sorry. So this has been it. I hope it wasn't too much of a rush like I usually do, but I just wanted to make this real quick because I know since I'm a person who's very much buying stuff when it's on sale because I don't want to over invest. Um, oh, I have this marketing speed because I don't want to over invest in pieces. Um, just in general, I mean, we're all here in this world to, to make a good bargain. So, um, yeah, check these ones out, out. I will link everything down below. You will find everything in the info box. And yeah, tell me what you liked. Um, was this helpful? Should I do this more often also on things that are not on sale? Do you, are you interested in it? Uh, because sometimes I think there are pieces that we can get also in not sale season, even though like this doesn't make me happy at all. Um, I can make other lists as well. I think it's usually coolest when I, when I make a mix of menswear and womenswear. Just tell me down below what you liked. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel or follow me on Instagram. Um, if you want me to speak more often, tell me down below. And so um, I'm wishing you a great weekend, I guess. Okay, now it will take probably like a hundred years. Okay, it has filmed everything. Okay, so... Um, Bye.